Hello everyone. Um this is um True Power computer I'm working on. Great computer. Well, it's going to be, I hope. Um this computer is very special. Um a bit of lag here. It uh this computer is designed to learn. So the way I communicate with it is this big screen that took me forever to do. Um well it's kind of a screen, it's a shifter display that can shift um, letters or symbols along as you type it's a bit slow it takes about 10 seconds for it to update all the way to the end here and I'm trying to increase the speed um, I think I increased the speed on the top row of pixels the rest is still slow I've got to fix the repeaters for the bottom for the other rows as well um, so uh, this computer is going to be the, you could say the brain of it, like, is going to be a huge programmable encoder and a huge programmable decoder. So, um, yeah, and it'll have built-in memory. So it can program itself to send data to certain places, and I'm going to try and make it so it can program itself and try and improve itself. Um, it's going to need a lot of memory. I'll show you over here this thing. That's 18 bytes of memory. This big thing here. Um, if my Minecraft would stop lagging. Um, I'll demonstrate this display. in a sec. It's pretty big, I know. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll demonstrate pressing the erase button when there's a lot of things, well, yeah, when there's a lot of stuff written in it, lags the game heaps, so expect lag out now-ish. Yep, lag. I just look away. Um, it is all gone. Cool. All right, so I will show you what I can do. I'll just type in ABC again, just to be simple. Something nice and quick to write. So it's straight away. Well, it takes a while, but. It comes up on that little screen so you know what you're typing and if you hit enter after about 10 seconds it'll update all the way to the end here and erase it off that screen so see how the top row is just updated first and then the rest comes and that'll get erased so now you have the letter A up on the screen and if I press B um oh It's just from a mod I have. It just stops lag. Well, it helps. It's called Optifine. Gets rid of lag spike of death and it gives you some awesome graphic settings. A lot of stuff. Um, so, it's shifted across, it's erased it. And I'll just enter one more thing. And while that's entering, i show you something cool about Optifine. It connects the grass textures. So, so there's a hill. Looks like, but yeah, it just joins them. It's really cool. Anyway, ABC up in the screen. I can hit the space button. Backspace doesn't work yet. And it's not actually going to work. Um, Hopefully it's not going to shift it back and get rid of the N1. Instead it'll just erase the N1 and whatever you type will get put straight into it. And uh, I can also do things like these extra ones. Like a forward slash. Um, so I'll just hit enter. And take a look behind. 
and I'll show you how it works. So, you might see some redstone flashing. Um, I think it's done. Probably done. Um, so, we'll take a look underneath. Um, some busing and a stacked decoder. Um, I'll take you from the very beginning and show you how the whole thing works. So, what happens when you press a button? A, for example, it sends a signal um, down here. A is this one. So, um, it powers that torch off and lets this one go on, which powers that one off, and lets all these go on, which um, make up letter A. And then the signal gets sent out of here, and along all this busing, and it goes straight into these RS null latches, the red wall here. And then it will go right up here and straight to that screen. And the time it takes for the screen to show what letter you just hit is how long it takes for that all to happen. And then also it straight away the signals get sent up here and up these going to the inputs of these shifters, which is the orange and red wool at the back here. They're all the shifters. Now the the input is four has four bits. And um, that is one shifter from that piston to the repeaters along here. And um, there's five high, five of them. And that's because lag. Damn. That's because um, there's, the screen is five pixels high and four pixels wide. So that's how that works. And when you hit enter, Get back down here. Enter, I think, is the green wall. Yeah, so when you hit enter, it turns off this redstone that's currently on. And when it goes off, make our way down here. We've got an RS null latch with a timer. So that just extends how long it. The, um, the signal stays off for and it gets inverted here see no it just gets repeated um, and it gets inverted there and it goes to a pulse limiter which shortens the pulse and um, I could probably make that faster I don't know it sends the signal all the way down here as fast as it can. I could probably make it faster by putting blocks before and after every repeater. That would probably just make like one one tick less delay. Which is pretty pointless. So once it's um, down to here, it splits up into all of these. And then it travels along here and it tells every um, shift out one by one to update so whatever whatever data is stored in that shifter gets copied um, into this shifter so this one's told to now <coughs> now copy whatever's in that um, into itself and that one does the same from behind it and that one does the same and that one does the same so they all update um, to copy whatever um, the previous, whatever sh the data is in the shifter behind it into itself. So it'll, when you do that, it'll go all the way through and it'll go to the end here and this one copies um, whatever's in here. And once that's done, <coughs> um, down here, it detects yeah, when the signal gets to the end here, it sends a signal down here with a bit of delay. Um, for some reason. 
to clear these RS null latches. And um, that's pretty much how it works. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I'll tell you about all this busing here. This just sends the data to these this orange stuff. It just has um, D flip flops. See, which are pretty much the same as the shifters behind. Um, that's if I want to make it so it will hold the current data, uh, whatever's displayed in it, until that's done or something, until it's finished updating, and then <clears throat> then it'll just refresh, so you don't see like pixels going everywhere as it's loading. Instead, it just stays the same thing, and when it's done loading, it'll just update straight away to whatever it's being inputted to. Um, yeah, so that's just a bit of memory. Now this red wool along the top here, that just gets the <coughs> outputs of the whole screen, so that goes straight to the computer, so it knows what you've typed. Um, yeah, this is pretty much all I've done so far, it's taken forever to do, and yeah, uh, this is just going to be a way to communicate to the computer. So one example is, I'll program it first to know what some words mean, so I can get started teaching it things, and then I'll say like, um, what's one, like, it won't know if I ask it what's one plus one, it won't know, so I'll have to teach it what that is. Um, it'd be like a baby that never forgets anything you teach it. So, um, it's going to take a long time to teach. But... I think I can achieve with machine learning um, is quite a lot. You can learn how to do things itself and hopefully to be able to self improve it should be really interesting. You could even probably try and get it to have a personality. But uh, yeah. So that's all I wanted to show today. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, only if you want to. And, um, yeah, see you later.